or 17. It's an acronym. It's Peaceful, Obedient Women, Encouraging Righteousness, which is what we're doing today. Um, when I spoke to Minister Shinto, I wanted to do this activity with some other people, but this is what, when I was in prayer, what God showed me. So I was kind of thinking, like, I'm not really sure if I can relate to you ladies because of what they originally told us, the kind of children we were going to have in reference to foster children, which you're not. But I am a girl, and all right, so I was molested. I don't know if you've been through a situation like that, meaning when someone touched you, a family member, friend, touched you in a, an appropriate place, and you know, you don't have to share anything now, but I had went through that situation myself. Someone, a family member, had actually been having sexual intercourse with me, meaning penetration, from the age, I started at five until about 17. And I was told that, well, if you say something, you're gonna be on the streets. If you say something, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna do all these things. And me being a little girl, I believe the person. And not, now realizing that it was the devil trying to stop me from doing what I needed to do, which is to come and serve you and talk to you. And so, I had dealt with a lot of things. Middle school, for me, was horrible. I, I don't know about y'all, but middle school for me was horrible. First of all, I had purple hair. So I, didn't, I wasn't like everyone else. I was a different kind of person. I had my own thing. My mom basically spoiled me. So I could cry and whine and do whatever I want to do. She bought me the Jordans, the shoes, the clothes, the everything. Y'all were Gucci and stuff like that. Now we don't wear that then. But back then, it was like, I wanted to fit in so bad, I would like go out the clothes, the shoes, and do this, do that, whatever. My parents bought me a car when I was 16, and everyone wanted to be my friend because, hey, she got her a brand new car, I wanna go hang with her. But they weren't really my friends. I thought that people were my friends who loved me, and as I'm walking home from school, I'll look around, they're talking about me. So I don't know if you've been in a situation like that, or anything, or dealt with anything like that, but it was it was a really trying, hard time for me. Middle school was rough, and I didn't have anyone to go and talk to about what I was dealing with. So in school, I was dealing with one thing, and then at home, I was dealing with one thing. And so I didn't have any friends. I didn't have a, a Miss Marie to go to to talk to. I didn't have a teacher who I can go and say, I'm dealing with this at home, help me. You guys have the opportunity to talk and have someone to listen to you when you're dealing with something. Minister Chantel has offered to reach out to you if you need something. I'm available if you need something. So for my daughter, Deja's in, she's in ninth grade and dealing with her in middle school, the things that she was dealing with was, it brought me back. It was really, really rough. So I just want to encourage you and let you guys know that if you don't have anyone at home you can talk to, or if you don't have the support, if people talk to you and talk down to you and say negative things about you, don't listen to them. First of all, God is never gonna say anything bad about you. He loves you. You are not a black sheep. You are not ugly. You're not dumb. There's nothing wrong with you. You all are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young ladies. God loves you and there's a purpose for you. I believe that somebody in here who wanna be a paralegal, wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse, wanna make your money. You wanna wear those red bottoms. You wanna wear those Gucci sweaters. You wanna look nice, have all the different color hair and do all these things. Get you a business. I remember being young thinking to myself, I don't wanna work for someone, me personally. I wanna have my own business. I wanna be able to come in when I wanna come in, do my own thing and have people work for me. And that's what I did. That's what happened for me. And if that's something that you want, as Lisa was saying, as Lisa was saying, write down your goals. That don't let anyone tell you that, hey, that can't be done and it can't be done. Don't let anyone tell you something like that. It can be done, because I'm a product of it. I was raped, I was molested, I was abused. I used to, I tried to kill myself. I'm talking about taking Tylenol every night for six months just so I can sleep through the night. I've tried it all. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I didn't do any of that stuff like that, but the rape was enough for me. That right there, I, when I tell you that I tried to kill myself and it was, it was bad, it was bad. And I had no one to talk to, I had no family, no friends, no one was saying to me, you're pretty, you're smart, you're this, I had no one. Y'all have someone here, y'all have your parents, and you have to realize too that parents, sometimes as a mother now, I now know that we're thinking about food, getting you out of school, clothes and stuff like that. We're not thinking about all the stuff that you're dealing with. We may not, we may not say to you, you know, honey, 
and have time to say, well, what are you dealing with in school and blah, 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 blah. Because it's a lot of stuff going on. People on social media write stuff and bullying and stuff like that. It's a lot going on. We're not thinking about stuff like that. We're thinking about how you gonna eat tomorrow, how you gonna get to school, how you gonna do this, what are we gonna buy you for Christmas, blah, 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 blah. That's what we're thinking about. So we may not take the time to reach out to you, but take the time to reach to your parents and just tell them, you know what, thank you for what you do for me. Okay, so for these balloons. So I'm gonna give you three things I want you to write on these balloons, and we're going to do a balloon release. Try to be careful so they'll pop them. So no one's gonna see what you're writing because you're gonna be focusing on yourself and then we're not worried. This is a judgment-free zone. So whatever you're dealing with, feel free to write it down. I want you to write down your past hurts, meaning anything that ever made you feel bad, like a situation like that maybe uh, someone said something to you and it made you feel bad. Okay, I'll give you an example. If you ever thought, if you were afraid of something, you ever had that fear, write fear down. If you ever felt abandoned, put down abandoned. If you ever felt disappointed that someone let you down, something like that. That helps? Okay. And if you don't have anything, it's fine, but that your past hurts, anything, any situation you was dealing with, if someone said something to you, that, oh, girl, you think you all that because you got whatever, mm -hmm. that, right there, that, that past hurts, whatever it is, anything you were dealing with. You can write whatever you want and then write either side. And if you need two balloons, I'll get you another. <laughs> okay? Don't worry, if you don't know how to spell the word, don't worry about it, just do the best you can. Spell it how you spell it. Yeah. Because it's your balloon. Ain't nobody yeah. see the no one's going to see it. Only God is going to see this. And this is a judgment free zone. All right, the next thing I want you to write is how you feel, any emotions that you have felt. Anything that ever made you cry, put it on your balloon. Write it down. Anything at all that ever made you cry, any situation that made you cry. And make sure you're only looking at your balloons because someone may be putting something personal on there that they don't want anybody to see. So keep your eyes on your balloon. And then the last one. So this is a little deep, okay? I want you to put initials meaning the first letter and the, of that first and last one. Any person who has hurt you, I'm talking about mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin, teacher, bully, whoever, put their initials down on this balloon because that's no longer going to affect you. Don't act like nobody ain't never hurt you because you're a cute little girl. I'm sure somebody just said, oh, she thinks she all laughing because she got some fuchsia in her hair. Oh, she thinks she cute. With a jean jacket. Oh, you know somebody said something to you. So whoever it is, even if it's your parents, a teacher, a bully, whoever, somebody has said something to make you upset. Someone has said something to offend you. Someone has said something that makes you feel less than worthy. Someone said something that, oh, girl, you mean all that. You ain't cute. You ain't this because you got flats and braids and da-da-da. <coughs> So whatever it is, we don't need to know who it is. Put it on your balloon. Stop it. So whoever, because this person, what they said to you, that was negative. Yes. You need a new balloon. Yes. Why you need a new balloon?